Network, brought to you by Paul and Denno. Proudly putting profit before the truth. You can't handle the truth. You have rung the offices of Bastard Petroleum. Please press 1 for a promise, 2 for a denial, or 3 for some false scientific data. Or just stay on the line and Chief Executive Officer will be with you shortly. I'm here with the uh, CEO of Bastard Petroleum, Mr. Duggan Weave. I want to talk to you a little bit today about the uh, oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It's now day 37 of the have, oil have spill. Have you noticed how green our service stations are? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're lovely. <laughs> Beautiful they're green. Really, they're green. really nice. Can, yes. can we get to the point All here? Right. Uh, day 37 of the oil spill. Uh, how's the, the top kill going? <laughs> day 37. And your, your attempts Look, to deal with the leaks? It's just a month and a bit, really. That's how we refer to it in Bastard Petroleum. That's a month a, and that, a bit. That's, yeah. that's a nice way of putting it. Can you explain the uh, top kill concept to us? Uh, well, we've We've tried option A, we've tried option B, we've, we've done C, D, E, F, G, uh, and, and we're up to option T, which is top kill. <laughs> it's, nice. It's, nice. Uh, it's, uh, it sounds great, doesn't it? And, and it may may even be successful, we don't know. We're going to, to inject heavy drilling mud into the blowout preventer that didn't didn't prevent, so we just call it the blowout, <laughs> the blowouter. And in theory, this heavy mud will be pushed in under enough pressure to stop the flow of oil, then we'll just put in a little bit of concrete and, uh, and, and all finished. And we just forget about it and get on with, get on with life. And, and why wasn't this done uh, within days of the, the, or the oil spill actually happening? I'm sorry? <laughs> I just didn't hear you. Uh, why did this happen uh, within days of Have you of noticed this how green our yeah, service yeah, no, stations are? Yeah, we're going no, to, we're they're, going they're to make lovely. our got a really nice... Green. Um, we're going to be using a paint that's not very toxic so that every car that drives in will be driving over this beautiful, beautiful green concrete just to remind them of how green we are. Yes, and, and, and back to the original question, any reason why this hasn't happened earlier? Our priority for the first 35 days has been to save the oil rather than save the environment. <laughs> We've lost a lot of production, you know. And was there any reason there wasn't a super tanker sort of out there um, with, the, with the skimmer to sort of suck up the oil in the seawater, like at the surface of the leak, um, straight away? Well... But you see, the, the problem with that is that when you mix oil with seawater, it's quite toxic. So we could have ended up with a super tanker full of full of toxic waste. Right. And we would have had to dispose of that. And uh, I just want to go back to one of my original quotes that I, I just love so much, that the Gulf of Mexico is quite a big ocean and the volume of oil and dispersant we are putting into it is tiny, tiny in relation to that total total water volume. You've also been quoted as saying that the, the oil spill is actually helping to waterproof some of the seabirds. Absolutely. absolutely. A lot of people forget that um, oil, you know, you put oil on a dryer bone, for example, people in Australia, or you use them oil skins. That's what we're doing for some of these birds. You, you also said there's plenty of other fish in the sea. <laughs> absolutely. It's a big ocean. Have we said that? It's a big you ocean. You've mentioned that. And, it, and, and our service stations are so green, so lovely and green. We wash them with green water. <laughs> That's how green we are. And then according to Bastard Petroleum, it's, it's been leaking over 5,000 barrels a day, awesome. and it seems to be changing quite rapidly, and that's not a barrel of laughs. So the scientists, these pesky, pesky scientists, have been asking us if they could try and analyse the volume of oil coming out of the leak. And, and of course, our response to that has been no. No, no, because why should we spend any time trying to calculate the flow at this point? I mean, it's already leaking up out of the, out of the, into the ocean. So it's not relevant to the response effort. And this, this is an important point. Barca Petroleum spokesman for made that trying to analyse how much oil is coming out could actually be detrimental to the response effort. And you're also using highly toxic oil dispersant, which is and um, banned in the UK. Is there any reason? Well, for that? well, we just refer to it as a dispersant, an oil dispersant. It's it's something that we got very cheap from the UK because <laughs> not allowed to use it there. <laughs> yes, so, so it disperses the oil. It doesn't make the problem any better. In fact, it makes it quite a bit worse. But it just just makes it look a lot better. Look, I'd just like to point out how green our service stations are, and and I just want to say that Mother Jones magazine. You know, rated us as one of the 10 worst corporations. And we really are trying hard to get into the top five. Well, good luck with that and thanks for your time. Yes, sorry, I've really got Dash. I'm busting for another leak. 